formatting in Blogsy. Okay, let's get started. Let's first select a word, and then you'll notice up here this group of formatting options. Bold, italics, underline, and strike through. So let's go through and do those. Don't worry about that. Okay, so here I've done all of these options here, and you can see them that they're done. Tap somewhere else and you can see them. Now, what if you want to undo something after you've done it? Uh, you can tap the undo button up here to undo your formatting. Or you can actually here, let's do bold, italics, underline, strike through. You can actually choose the option again to undo it. So that will allow you to undo it. And any of these options in this group are are based on a single word or a sentence. And this next group, the alignment, it treats the whole paragraph with ever, whatever that formatting is. So even though, let's see here, let's choose a different paragraph. I've only chosen one word if I set left alignment, center alignment, right alignment, or justify. It treats the whole paragraph the same way. And it actually, you don't even have to select a word. If I just do that and put the cursor somewhere in the paragraph and do the align, this, these alignment options, it'll do it to the whole paragraph. Okay, so now let's choose here uh, and let's do fonts, font colors. So if, whatever font color you want, orange, and then also background color, purple. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Again, you can do undo. The thing you need to be aware of, let me show you this. The thing you need to be aware of with this is if you're doing something with custom color. If you're doing a custom color, so let me use one here. I'm going to use 9BC4E2. So once you've set your custom color, hit return, and you'll notice under the letter now shows your custom color. So after you've done this, now go, go make your selection of the paragraph or word or whatever you want and tap on the button and it will change that. And it works the same for both background color and text color. So it's something to be aware of. That's how custom colors work. Font size. Here you can choose different font sizes uh, that you want. So something really small, something a little bit big. Font family. You can also choose the font family that you want. Times New Roman. There's all kinds of different font families you can use here. One thing to be aware of, a few of the font families, uh, the iOS doesn't recognize, so it's not going to show correctly in Blogsy. It's not going to show like you think it's, it should show. But after you publish it to your blog, it will show the font correctly. And then text format. Of course, these are also paragraph settings. You can have heading or uh, just turn it back into paragraph, basic paragraph, um, uh, heading four, gives you all the options here to set it. Okay, let's see, another one, let's go down here. Let's see how ugly I can make this post. <laughs> uh, again, it doesn't matter if you select the whole paragraph or not, uh, it'll treat the whole paragraph this way. You see the quotes, this is block quote. So when you tap on block quote, it's going to indent it here and make it into a blog post. If you touch, tap it again, it's going to keep indenting it. So you can't undo a block quote by tapping on it again. For that, you're going to have to use the undo option here to undo it. And then for people that use the more tag, put the cursor where you want it to be and tap the more tag and you'll see the more tag marking. One last thing. I want you to be aware of here. Let's see if we type if we type a bunch of text and then we select it here and do some formatting. Let's make it bold. And then if you hit return and type, it keeps the formatting. So anytime you put the cursor at the end and hit enter, the next paragraph is going to have the same formatting. So it's best to do your formatting after you've actually written, but if you like to do it in the, while you're writing, then the best way to do it would be to uh, type something, now hit enter. Now you go back 
and make your formatting and then tap the next place where you're going to type and it won't keep your formatting. So just something to be aware of. And that's formatting in Blogsy.